So yeah, how's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing. Um, I'm here to talk Terrence Crawford. Um, and please like and subscribe. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Hope everybody's having a great day. But yeah, I'm here to t- talk Terrence Crawford and the postponement fight of him and Jeff Horn. Um, very, 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 very crazy situation, man. Um, Bob Arum pretty much said in a um, statement that uh, Terrence Crawford messed his hand up and that'll be postponed until May or June. I think it's total bullshit, dude. I call it bullshit, dude. And I call it to the highest degree, dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, man. Come on, dude. Like, you would think... You would think with everything going on that Bob Arum at least tell us the truth one time, dude. You know? But if you were counting on that, dude, you might as well get your money back, dude, before it's too late. Because this guy Bob Arum, man, he's he's a crook. And I'm not on the whole Bob Arum bandwagon. You know, I'm not on the Bob Arum bandwagon. I don't trust him. I think he's just getting too old, man. He's like 95 almost. I think he's like 89 right now. But he's just... The whole situation with Bob Aaron, man, is... You've been around the sport so long. Things are done a certain way in the 70s and the 80s. Maybe even in Bob Aaron's situation, maybe the 60s. (laughs) So, I mean, maybe the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. Things have been done so for so long the same way and then you got some new guys that come in that have no promotional background with boxing like Al Heyman Richard Schaefer you know Eddie Hearn which you know took after his dad but before that had no promotional experience you know what I mean and didn't actually even want to do it you know what I mean he just happened to get a fighter and that fighter you know turned them gold and you know but you know, anyways, man, it it it's the new it's the new kids on the block, you know. And um, the whole situation with Bob Arum, man, is I, I man, if I was Bob Arum's one of Bob Arum's fighters, man, I'd be fed up right now, man. Because look what's going on, man. They're postponing fights. They're lying to fans. It's a whole bunch of shit going. On. And I personally, uh, my personal opinion is, Bob Arum has. About 800,000 per fight. I think that's how they divvied it up. It was like 64 million per year. Um, I is I think it's 64 million per year. Yeah, I think it's 64 million for one year. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but from what I seen, it was 64 million per year, and it was like 800,000 per fight, and that's not enough for Terence Crawford versus Jeff Horn. You can't even pay them a million dollars per 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 fighter, which they should at least be getting. I mean, you got you got Danny Garcia and Brandon Rios making one point three, and then one uh uh Brand um Danny Garcia making one point three, Brandon Rios making five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, B C level fighter, five five hundred thousand. On a sea level fighter at, at best. You know? At best. Shit. You know what I mean? You ain't you ain't dealing with no you're not dealing with a a world beater with Brandon Rios, man. And Brandon Rios is making more than Jeff Horn probably has been making, man. I mean I know Jeff Horn made and uh, I know he made. I know Brandon Rios made more than Jeff Horn in his last fight when he fought in uh, when he fought in the, uh, Australia. Right after the uh, the Manny Pacquiao fight, he had another fight. That other fight that he had, I guarantee you, it wasn't at least, it wasn't six hundred thousand guaranteed. Because a lot of these promoters aren't generating that much money. They are generating that much money, but they're not giving their their fighters that much money, you know. That's why it's good to have a manager that look out for your well-being. You can say what you want about Al Heyman. 
He looks out for his fighters' well-being. So back to the Terrence Crawford, man. I think Terrence Crawford and Jeff Horn. I think it will. I think that fight will be will get done. Um, will it get done when we want it? I don't know. You gotta understand, man. Terrence Crawford left 140 to go to 147 at the chances of getting the WBO title. So when he's going to get, so when he's going all the way over there to get the WBO title, I mean, you gotta understand, Jeff Horn is gonna be looking for about two million dollars, man. At, at least, man. He said he's, he said he wanted five, but he's not getting five. Come on, man. You know he ain't getting five. He might have got five with the rematch with Pacquiao, but I highly doubt it. You know what I mean? But I mean, other than that. I just, I don't see it, man. I don't see it. I don't I don't see the money there, man. You know? I think with, with I think it was 60,000 people with the Manny Pacquiao, Jeff Warren fight in Australia, man. That was a hell of a turnout, man. That was a hell of a turnout, dude. It's like 60,000 people there, man. So for, for, so for a fan base... To have about sixty thousand people, dude. That that's what you call. That's what you call a, a hell of a, a hell of a turnout, dude. You know what I mean? A hell of a turnout, dude. And I mean, you know, like I said, man, I'm just trying to. I'm not trying to count pockets, but I'm trying to figure out, man. How, where can they get the money from? I mean, you know, instead of putting it on pay-per-view. Bob Barham has a lot to think about, man. Because when Pacquiao pulled out of the Mike Alvarado fight, that screwed his whole plans up. How are you going to have Manny Pacquiao on the undercard of Jeff Warren when a lot of people thought Jeff Warren won? I mean, a lot of people thought Manny Pacquiao won the Jeff Warren fight. Me being one of them. I thought it was competitive, and I thought it could have went either way, but I picked Manny Pacquiao to win. I'm like, there's no way. And when I heard it, when, I, when they, when they read, read out the, uh, the scorecards, I was like, what? And the immediate thing I was thinking, man, when they ran out the Jeff Horn, Manny Pacquiao scorecards, I was thinking Timothy Bradley, Manny Pacquiao. I was just like, oh, man, all over again. And if I'm not mistaken, that was for the WBO too, man. The WBO has some shady shit, man. I'm letting y'all know that now, man. They're shady, dude. They're bad for business. <laughs> so yeah, man. Um, I hope Terrence Crawford gets his money. I don't see how they're gonna get it unless it's unless it's um on pay per view. And I don't understand. And I don't see how they gonna get it if it is on pay per view because I don't got Jeff Horn and Terrence Crawford selling that much on pay per view. My personal opinion, you know, they're they're good sellers in their hometowns, but you got one that's in Australia and then you got one in Nebraska, and they're gonna meet up and fight in Las Vegas and sell out. I I highly doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. Terrence Crawford is a is an A-level fighter, dude. No question in my mind is, is Terrence Crawford an A-level fighter or a B-level fighter. A-level fighter, dude. That's your definition of an A-level fighter is Terrence Crawford. And a pound-for-pound pound fighter. You want to talk about pound-for-pound? Pound? Terrence Crawford is a mold of a pound-for-pound pound fighter. You know, he's a good role model for a pound for pound fighter. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that, yo. You wanna know what a, for all these casuals, you wanna know what a pound for pound fighter is? You look up Terrence Crawford's resume. Not Mikey Garcia's, but Terrence Crawford's resume. And I'm a, and I'm a huge Mikey Garcia fan. So for all you Mike, Mikey Garcia diehards out there. Don't get your don't get your feathers you know ruffled from me saying that. But yeah, man. Um, like I said, the whole moral of the story is where are they going to get the money from for the for the for the um Jeff Horn Terrence Crawford fight? Where are they going to get this money from? 
if they don't go on pay-per-view. I need questions. I mean, I need answers. I got questions. I need answers from from uh, Bob Barham himself, man. So, yeah, man, that's my thoughts, man. And I personally think, man, the fight will go down. But I think it'll be at a venue. I honestly think, man, this fight could go down, man. It either it could either go down in I think it go, could go down in Australia, dude. I think there's money in Australia for this fight, dude. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. I think there's money in Australia for this fight, man. Those fans love Jeff Warren, man. I think Jeff Warren has a bigger following in Australia than uh, Terrence Crawford does in Nebraska. Definitely. Because there's, there's uh, more people in Australia than there is in Nebraska. Duh. But, I mean, hey, man, there's, there's, there's Terrence Crawford fans all through the world, man. So, it's not just in Nebraska. But, but yeah, man, those are my thoughts, man. Got to go. Please enjoy y'all day. Be productive. And until the next time. Peace.